Hi, uh, my name is Michael Craigs. I work for Steadicam. I'm um, going to kind of give you a little demo on all of our equipment and everything like that. Uh, right here I have the Steadicam Merlin 2. It's a stabilizer for any camera up to five pounds. Um, right here I have the Canon 5D Mark II. And um, basically all we're going to have to do is uh, add counterbalance weights to this unit. Place this on top of here. And what I'm going to now do, see how this is tilting forward like so? What I'm going to do is, with these trim controls, by turning this up, I'm actually going to tilt the camera up so I'm sitting flat like so. And now it's sitting at a nice level position. Now what this is going to do, I'm taking the center of gravity of the camera and bringing it down to this handle right here. So all my movements are going to be isolated from the camera, so we're not going to see any type of shake. Okay? Now, if I want to be able to pan the camera at all, right, I'm going to add my second hand to this ring right here. Panning, tilting, and then offsetting the horizon like so. Now knowing that, I can run, I can do fast movements like so, or I can do nice slow type of dance like shots. You can get nice counter shots, product shots. Now this technology goes through all of our stabilizing systems, all right? So again, this Merlin retails for $800. Um, we can now move to the Smoothie, which is a unit mainly for Apple iPhones, iPod Touches, GoPros, things like that. Again, same technology. All we're doing is isolating the image, bringing it down to this handle right here, or gimbal, and anywhere I move, the image is just going to stay perfectly still. Again, adding a second hand, we're going to pan and tilt, just like the Merlin did. But for $150, you can have your iPhone or GoPro movies stabilized, okay? So this is our little junior, little baby Steadicam. When is that the market? This uh, smoothie's been out for about three years now. Uh, the Merlin's been out for about seven years, but the Merlin 2's been out for about a year now. So what's the difference with the Merlin 2? What happened with the Merlin 2? So the Merlin 2, um, a couple things that we did. We put some stainless steel parts down here, other than instead of aluminum, uh, longer lasting parts so you're not going to strip any threads. Uh, we took the hinge assembly and beefed it up. It's about twice the size, so it's going to be a lot more sturdy. Um, we also changed the folding mechanism to a spring system. So it easily collapses into a nice travel mode. And then this can be used as a camera support system as well. So you want it to get a handheld look, you can flip it into stabilization mode as well. And you're good to go. Is it easy to set up? Yes, yeah. Uh, the Merlin comes with about a 45 minute DVD that goes through all the setup. Um, we also have an online cookbook that you can look up your camera so you know how many weights to put on and everything like that. Um, when we set up the booth, each one of these was set up in under five minutes. Again, we've been doing it for a while. Your first time is going to take about 45 minutes. But uh, so once you, you get used to it. Off, you can show under how it is. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all these different positions under the camera, there's a. Uh... Correct. So the camera plate is designed so. Any type of camera, depending on the center of gravity of the camera, I can add it to any type of hole. So again, the DSLR is favored heavier over on this side because of this handle. So I want to cheat the weight over here. So then when I balance it onto the Merlin, everything's pretty much in center. All right. And you also have a bigger equipment? Yeah, correct. So uh, obviously Steadicam started off in the motion picture industry, like with movies like Rocky, The Shining, um, Goodfellas, for example. Um, so we've introduced uh, other types of units that uh, can work, for example, like with the Blackmagic camera. Uh, this is the Steadicam Scout. It can hold up to a camera up to 18 pounds. Um, again, uh, HDSDI compatible. Um, comes with a, an arm, comes with a vest, the operator is actually suited up. Um, and again, this is for uh, larger broadcast type cameras. Um, and then we go up and down depending on the weight class of your camera. I'm gonna ask for, for one more for you. So for example, um, uh, this is a Red One camera, uh, stripped down. Uh, we pretty much have about a 15 pound camera rig right here. Uh, this is our Steadicam Zephyr can hold up to 23 pounds, can be a 12, 24 volt system, 
This is the, the stabilizer vest. So the operator would actually wear this vest right here. How long time would it take you to put the vest on? So I could put it on in two minutes. <laughs> All right. uh, this arm is for that one? Please? Yes, correct. So yeah, this is a stabilization isoelastic arm right here. So again, can hold up to a 23 pound camera. And then over to my right, right here, we have the Steadicam Pilot. Now this can hold up to a 10 pound camera, okay? So um, this is our smallest, what I like to call traditional Steadicam. Traditional being, I have a post, I have a monitor, I have a battery pack. Also the operator would have the arm and the vest as well. Um, great unit for anyone using a uh, 5D with a map box or anything like that, that you're going over the five pound Merlin uh, limit. So, um, packs up into a nice backpack, really nice and simple. Starts at about four thousand dollars. So, the Steadicam was invented by who? And uh, uh, yeah, Steadicam was invented by Garrett Brown. Um, again, it went through a lot of different variations, and we finally kind of settled on on this one right here. Um, Again, the simple properties of physics uh, with uh, pendulum effect uh, and then adding the three axis friction free uh, gimbal right here makes it all possible. Um, but basically, Steadicam is just uh, three weights that you're just balancing. So you have one weight being the camera, one weight being the monitor, and one weight being the battery pack. All useful weights, of course. You need a camera to shoot audio, uh, bleh, audio and video. Um, you need the monitor to see the video, and you need a battery pack to power everything. Right, so Garrett Brown works at the... Yeah, Garrett Brown uh, still uh, helps us invent products. Uh, he's very much uh, um, uh, helps out with uh, workshops, uh, teaches operators, new operators how to how to use uh, cameras. Basically a company invented this, right? I mean... Yeah, correct. So, um, so, so Garrett Brown uh, invented the, the product. Um, worked with a company called Cinema Products out of Los Angeles uh, that actually went uh, bankrupt and then uh, that's when Tiffin um, uh, took over the Steadicam product line. So how big is the uh, Steadicam market? Steadicam market is quite large. It's, all, it's worldwide. Uh, again, going from the smoothie up to say our Ultra 2, which is our largest rig, which can hold up to a 48 pound camera. Um, it can be from the soccer mom up to whoever's shooting, you know, Chronicles of Narnia or, or whatever like that. And uh, how is different steady cams compared to competition? Well, we don't really like to compare ourselves. You know, um, what we have here, we're the inventors of uh, any type of stabilization. So uh, we hold a lot of patents. Um, a lot of people uh, that are that you see on the market are using our expired patents. Um, but uh, you know what it is is if you want to come to the booth, if you want to try out our equipment and then try out our competition's equipment, and you can see the value in what our products offer you, I think that you'll make that decision and come with Steadicam. Nice. So for all enthusiast filmmakers, this is kind of like the dream equipment, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's fun working for Steadicam because I have a lot of people coming in and say, you know, I've always wanted to own a Steadicam and um, I've always seen it on movies and everything like that. And with products like the Merlin, the Smoothie, you can actually own a Steadicam uh, and, you know, GoPros and everything like that. A lot of people own those now and now you can actually stabilize those images. Images. And is the equipment like uh, like the Steadicam Merlin is indestructible or? Um, I wouldn't say it's indestructible. Uh, it's made of high quality um, aluminum and steel. So uh, unless you're going to throw it against the wall or anything like that, which I wouldn't really recommend, it's going to last. Peut-être en apprendre à se connaître. Je me révèle petit à petit. Et parfois, ce n'est pas à mon à mon avantage, certes. Mais j'aime trop dans un sens sortir ou avoir ma propre vie, ma propre indépendance.